cable saws are tremendously versatile tools. You can rip on them, you can cross cut on them, you can cut angles, you can break down sheet stock, and you can even do delicate detail work. Today, we're going to build a project entirely on the table saw. Let me show you how we do that. This little dresser valet or jewelry box is entirely made out of white oak and the cool thing is, is that all of the joints and all of the details are all machined on the table saw. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal Magazine and I'm going to show you how to build this box and it's my hope that watching us do this will inspire you to take your table saw work to the next level. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is gather up your wood. Now I used a quarter inch thick stock, three eighths inch stock, and three quarter inch stock thick stock and I chose quarter sawn white oak because I thought the design of the project had a little bit of a arts and craft feel to it. But any hardwood will do. The sides and top of this box are constructed from frame and panels and the grooves and tenons on these tiny pieces are all formed with the table saw. I found that it was a good idea to keep some scrap lumber for test cuts handy as there are a bunch of setups that need to be made. So when you're cutting small pieces on the table saw, it's best to use a jig like this cross cut sled. I'm going to be using it to make miter cuts, cut things to length, cut them square, and this stop that's adjustable allows me to make accurate repeatable cuts for all of these many pieces. Table saws are occasionally overlooked in their ability to cut accurate and delicate details. Now, for example, this square raised panel that we made in these boxes, I wanted a series of rectangular shadow lines coming up from the panel. Let me show you how I made those. In order to make those sequential stepped cuts, I'm going to make use of this jig, which holds the block securely as I'm cutting it. Now, I'm going to make the shallow cut first, all four sides of the block, then all the rest of the blocks. Then we'll reset the saw, make the deeper cut, and we'll be ready to go. Now anytime you make any project, it's always best practices to do a complete dry assembly before you put the glue on it. You know, you can't reverse glue very easily. Now, to make this assembly easier, we chose to glue up these end panels first and make sure that they are completely square. Now, we're going to try the main assembly. We're going to start with the end piece, glued up, squared up. These are the upper styles because I'm assembling it upside down. Next come the first set of raised panels and then our very cool dividers. Next set of raised panels, dividers. So you can see that this is becoming less of a puzzle and just more of an assembly. Raised panel, raised panel. Now you need to put the bottom in, which Kind of looks like it's going in upside down, but actually this is the way it needs to go in. Okay, that fits nicely. And now this is the last bit. Get it all together. With the bottom in place, the last couple of components are these bottom rails. And then it's ready for clamp up. Now if I was going to glue and clamp this thing together, I'd need to put glue in here. Where would that glue go? I'm glad you asked. As with any frame and panel operation, you're going to want to apply glue wherever there's a tenon that goes into a rail or a mortise. Now in this case, I'm even going to add some extra glue right in the center of these little raised panels. I know that that's ordinarily not done, but in this case, there's just so few glue joints with sufficient area that I think that's the way to go. 
Once you have the glue on, clamped up, let it cure. Then there's just some final sanding, some finish, and then I'll show you what it looks like when we've got it all put together. So after I took it out of the clamps, did the final sanding on it, sprayed it with a spray lacquer, it looks great. Then we mortised for these solid brass hinges. I did that on the table saw too. So there it is, a nice little box completely made on the table saw. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust and thanks for watching.